Hello everyone, this is Fi. I'm checking out Clearance Rate. This is a game that has been made by someone I've talked to briefly. Um, and as far as I know, it's like his first game or something, so... <laughs> it, in an early state at that, so I, you know, expect things to be rather basic, but um, we're gonna give this a playtest here, see if we can give some feedback. Um, I was asked specifically about the audio of the game. The creator of it doesn't think the audio is good at all, and I wanted some feedback as to how to kind of fit sounds together, whatever. Uh, and I believe that I'm at least somewhat qualified to uh, respond to that, so we'll see what that's like. Um, I got the game page open here. It says, a game about existentialist post-futurist thought set to be the backdrop backdrop of a jaw-dropping metamodernist landscape ravaged by late-stage capitalist ideals. Uh, it goes on with all this gibberish. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so this is controls, WASD movement, left mouse button to shoot, right mouse button to sprint. Serious, it works better than you'd think. And scroll wheel to adjust zoom, and then it says, and to adjust mouse sensitivity, I'm sorry. So we're going to see what happens here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that overlay. It just kind of, this is how the game launches. So this is the first I've seen in this game. From what I understand, it's about shooting little blocks or whatever. I think it's supposed to be like a time limited. I start right on the edge here. Is there a kill plane? All right, there's a kill plane. That's a good sign. Uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, obviously you're not likely to to go anywhere but forward when you start, but I guess you can take a couple steps backwards, but <laughs> it's a little weird to start right on the edge there. Um, movement has a lot of inertia. I would say that's probably too much in my opinion, especially for like a single player game. You just kind of want everything to be responsive. I would definitely tighten up that. In my opinion, uh, the mouse sensitivity by default feels pretty good to me, which is to say that uh, based on, you know, my mouse DPI and what I'm used to, not to say that that's going to be right for anyone else. Uh, he said scroll wheel to adjust the mouse sensitivity, I guess. Which I don't know. I don't know what that means exactly. Is there like an options menu? Okay, P, P key pauses. Then I have to click resume. I prefer pause on escape. But uh, yeah, so I notice we can't jump with space. We can't. Okay, there's some music playing. Oh, it's like spatially positioned. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a crouch or jump. These are things that just kind of feel right because like all first person games, I mean not literally all, but almost all first person games have these functions. So I always kind of feel like it's missing something if you can't do those functions. Now if I click, all right, it makes a little gunshot sound. I don't see anything. Oop, I got stuck on the stair for the second there, I think. Oh. <laughs> I see. So, if I'm not mistaken. All right, that's very strange. Okay, so if I if I put the camera up, or the view up high enough, it seems to make me get stuck on the steps. But if I bring it back, so I'm holding forward right now, or W. So if I bring it back down, it starts to go up. So it seems like the uh, the direction that I'm moving seems to be dependent on the camera, as in the. Uh, whatever you call this, the pitch of it. Which doesn't seem right, obviously you want this to be horizontal movement, like on that horizontal plane. Sorry about the dancing machine there. Uh, so I think I would consider that a bug, that's very strange. Okay, so I can touch this, this is apparently like a level. Alright, so the little gunshot sound sounds like a drum. I think I'm just supposed to click the red things as fast as I can. That looked like it hit, but I guess it didn't. Uh, ooh, my aim is not like super good, but it's not too bad in terms of like my skill with FPS games. So the timer is still going down. Did I win? Clearance rate. 
Okay, it doesn't say anything. Uh, the... Oh, I can move the camera now. That's weird. So, I don't really like the, you know, like the light blue on white. The text, because it doesn't really stand out, but it's just a small detail, so... Um, the music is getting more dramatic, but I'm not able to do anything, it seems. So I don't know if it just bugged out and froze here. Oh, I pressed Q. I don't know if that did it or if there's like a timer that just ran out. Sorry about the notification sound. I didn't, didn't mute those tabs before I started playing. Oh, we got different music. It's interesting how it's spatial. I actually like how it kind of comes from the, the stage, it seems. That's kind of nice. Uh... A little inconsistent here, I, I guess touching this one doesn't work. Oh. If I right click, the, there's a little plus sign thing that appears. At it. Oh wait, that's supposed to be the running. Forgot about that. Let's just go ahead and mute that tab real quick, I'm sorry. We'll just take a moment here. And I guess we're gonna bypass that because it doesn't seem to all right, right mouse button to run. So yeah, I mean he says it, it it works fine, and I mean I'm inclined to believe that it's fine, but also like the shift key works fine in my opinion, and that's what I use for like all other games for running, so I kinda prefer that. Alright, so not really sure what's going on here, why like this seems to be inconsistent in that or I just walked into the red thing and it loaded up a level. And I'm jumping now because I don't think there's any way I could get back over there. Um, but I don't know if it's because like I didn't clear this one properly. Oh, getting a little glitchy. Let's try this again. I'm gonna like hold the Oh. So you can't shoot while holding a run button. So you have to kind of go back and forth between pressing it and not pressing it, I guess, if you want to run. Oh jeez. Pixel perfect aiming is a little- oh there's more- what the heck? Oh gosh. No! Wait, wait, zoom. Okay. Uh, zoom. I don't like the zoom on the, the mouse wheel. That's not good in my opinion. Um, okay. <laughs> so this is a clearance rate again. I didn't even notice this before. So yeah. Uh, for me personally, having right mouse button for zoom is way better. Um, it's just right there. It's a lot faster. I don't have to like take my finger off and like fiddle with the mouse wheel. Obviously I could get more used to that, but I much prefer that on right mouse button. That works really good. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Q does take you out. Maybe Q is just restart, like quit or something. Um, so I might think that like maybe I'm supposed to clear this and then I can go into the other ones, but this doesn't seem to be working. Like when I run out of time, it doesn't it seems to bug out. Or it, I mean, it seems that way to me. So I'm going to try running up here. In terms of design, obviously it's basic. Uh, it makes sense. Um, oh. That's cool sounding. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's trippy. Uh, but yeah, I don't know about... I guess I'll try this one more time here. Um, but yeah, the whole like pixel perfect aiming thing can be a little, um, I don't know, in my opinion it could be nice if it's like if there's a slight bit of leeway, not in, not to say that like I can't do it, but like if you want to make something feel like super fast then having to do like really precise aiming, um, can kind of in a sense get in the way of that sometimes, but, um, that's kind of an Opinion, I mean, based on the idea that, like, if you do have more leeway, then you could just make everything kind of faster, like, the player can play, like, way faster if they can not have to focus on being super, um, accurate with it. But, uh, this works fine. The other thing is that there is, um, V-Sync enabled 
which adds input lag, which makes this type of gameplay specifically uh, significantly harder than it needs to be. So, like, even I could be playing better if uh, VSync was disabled, or if there's an option to disable it, because it just makes, um, reduces the input lag, and that makes it much easier to be accurate with this. So the, the movement isn't sluggish. So that really makes a big difference. Oh gosh. Is there any uh, downsides to not running out of time? So to uh, missing, I wonder. Can you just spam the bullets? So again, I didn't really get any further than, than this. Um, but yeah, it seems to kind of lock up here, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, I mean, in terms of audio, all I've heard so far is a little gun sound, which just sounds kind of like a drum, but it's, I mean, it's not a bad sound, it's just, it's kind of a little funk thing. And then there's the piano music, and I don't, I mean, I don't hear anything sp particularly wrong with it, but there's not really much to comment on, you know, it, it just kind of sounds fine. Um, it's possible, I'm just alt-tabbing out to look at the game page here. It's possible that the developer may have updated the game since I spoke with him. This is updated 20 hours ago, so it's entirely possible. Um, it might have been 20 hours ago I spoke with him. When was that? Yeah, that was more than 20 hours ago. So yeah, I think, you know, for all I know, he could have changed the audio. He, and that might invalidate the whole <laughs> concept of commenting on the audio. But uh, yeah, I mean, the game is pretty functional except for the uh, what appears to be a bug here on completing. Requiring me to, I assume, reset by hitting the Q key. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would I would adjust the controls. Obviously, having remappable controls is a good thing. But um, for me, I I definitely prefer shift if I'm gonna run. I prefer right mouse button for zooming. It's just way faster and more accessible. Uh, and that makes it easy, especially like if you want if you want to like zoom in and then hit something and then zoom out and then zoom in and hit something and like do that in fast succession. That's extremely hard to do with the mouse wheel, especially since I use my index finger for the mouse wheel, which is all the same finger I use for shooting. <laughs> and so if I can use the right mouse button, it's just like, you know, bam, 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 you, you, you use both of your dominant fingers in tandem to do that. It's way easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, the concept that I like how, how the concept is low scope, it works well. So um, it's definitely a good thing for kind of a first game and the Presentation, I mean, obviously the graphics aren't anything to speak of here, but um, I like the kind of the positional audio of the music on the the shape things that appear to be the levels. And I think it's kind of intuitive that, you know, these shapes, with the way they're colored and presented, um, really kind of stands out. So it's like, obviously these are, there's nothing else in the environment, so obviously these are important. So it kind of makes sense without saying anything that you have to interact with these, which... Um, leads to you kind of discovering that you can walk into it, but this is really disorienting because of the lighting here. So there's no te oh no texture. What just happened? What I just I just went back to the start. I think I all right. Oh, I can hit the R key to restart the stage. Okay, that's nice. Um, but I think what happened is, I think I walked here and then I walked backwards or something? I was just standing here, but I just... Oh, maybe it's because the timer ran out. I was talking. I guess. But yeah, you can see how this wall and that wall are exactly the same shade. And... That was weird, whatever happened before, but... Um, so yeah, that's that's really disorienting. Lots of collision on these, I guess. That's kind of silly. I don't think that's necessary to have collision on those. Uh, but yeah, I would add something here. 
you know, a texture or something to break this up so you don't get disoriented. And then, like, if I'm facing the wall here and I'm moving around, you, like, you can hear me hitting all the movement keys, but you just can't tell that you're moving, so that's another thing that's very disorienting. And so I would consider those things. It's nice to have minimal, for sure, but, um, yeah, it's pretty necessary. Whoop! I just punched the microphone. It's pretty necessary to, to uh, be able to navigate in space com uh, comfortably by getting that good visual feedback. Oh, there's more down there. Wow, I just kind of walked up onto this ledge. <laughs> so a little funny with the movement code there. I mean, I understand walking upstairs, but that's like a waist high ledge. I can apparently... I think it's if I angle, yeah, if I angle the camera just right, it seems to kind of jump up on there, and I can even jump down here like this. Uh, it's quite silly. So yeah, obviously there's bugs and stuff, but um, hopefully this video has been useful for you. I didn't need to zoom in for this. Please consider disabling VSync, adding an option for it. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Um, I wonder if the field of view is also weird for me. Like, I didn't think about that until now, but I wonder, like, what it's set to. And how different that might be from what I'm used to. I mean, it doesn't seem bad, but... Oh, I can't... Whoa! I got... I got like caught in the geometry or something for a second there. It's hard to tell what happened because of the, that issue with not being able to see the movement when your face is in the, uh, the wall like that. So that was awkward. For some reason when they're close, like I can't do it. It must be because of the input lag. It's just messing me up. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully this, is, this has been useful. Um, Hopefully whatever issues are here, like with clearing the levels or whatever, can be worked out. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a simple concept, but it's it's reasonably fun. So, um, you know, with a little more polish, maybe an extra little uh, component to the gameplay or something, just to add, you know, another a little bit more spice to it or something could be pretty compelling. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully this was useful. And let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.